and gentlemen, honored guests, President Dix, and our distinguished ac academic staff of the UCD Sutherland School of Law. As the Dean said, my name is Joy Tendai, which is joy and Tendai means thankful. I am in my third year of a four-year Bachelor of Civil Law degree. I grew up in Zimbabwe and I'm now one of the many global citizens who call Ireland home. I began my studies in UCD through the Access Center, which gives adult learners like myself a second chance to achieve their lifelong dreams. I'm also a mother of two beautiful children. The Access program in the past three years has had 369 students and we have completed the program and out of that program 50.4 of the students have been women. It is a great privilege and honor to stand before you this, um, in the state-of-the-art lecture theater sponsored by A&L Goodbody in which future legal minds will be formed for years to come. Before I speak of my educational journey thus far, I'd like to quote Calvin Coolidge who said, no person was ever honored for what they received. Honor is the reward for what they gave. This evening, on behalf of the student body, we honor the generous sponsors and donors that have made it possible to have a legal hub that is transforming the minds of Irish and international students and boasts of the much talked about Arthur Cox Clinical Legal Education Center. Complementing the building are the dedicated lecturers and administrative staff who make the transformation of our legal minds truly memorable. On my first impression of the law school building, the phrase knowledge incubator immediately came to mind. It is a term that I coined in year one and continue to use and smile about each time I enter this building. Those of you who have visited this building during the day have experienced the light and brightness that welcomes you as you enter to be credited to its design. As soon as you enter the building, you can see from the photos of the women and men who work here what enthusiasm and dedication they bring to supporting learning and discovery. This is where the journey as a student begins, especially for me as a female student. You feel empowered, your mind intrigued, and eager to explore the facilities. I also suspect it is at this point a lot of the students know they made the right choice to pursue their legal studies through the Sutherland School of Law. For me, it happens each time I enter this building as I look forward to learning new legal concepts. My very first positive experience of the visionary outlook of our law school was in my first year. While walking into the building, I met the dean, as he said, Professor Joe McMahon, who took the time to understand and find out how, as a mature student, I was settling into the course. He also addressed my fears related to what many of you may know as the imposter syndrome. He made me aware that his door and that of the lecturers were open should any concerns arise. This spirit of community is reflected by all staff members who discuss with students their concerns, resolve queries, and also offer career guidance. As students, I sh we should utilize this interaction and not fear coming under the radar of our lecturers. As I might not get an opportunity like this again, I would like to thank all the lecturers for their tireless dedication, positive impact, and legal knowledge they impart to students. To me, you are all educational superstars. One has to ask, who are you two or Bono compared to you all? When I read that the tickets for the U2 summer concert sold in less than two minutes, I felt a public announcement had to be made that the only tickets that should be selling in such record time are those to Transforming Law, the tour. <laughs> Held in Sutherland School of Law, featuring the McDermott brothers. <laughs> this is the sentiment shared by many of my peers of the positive learning experience we will remember of our time here. It is also the reason you always find full houses at nine o'clock on a Monday morning. In property law, for example, Dr. Liam Thornton delivered every week, and I quote, tasters on the subject that made you not want to miss the next class. Being taught and having interacted with outstanding and distinguished female academics, to name but a few, Dr. Mary Catherine Lucy, 
Dr. Moira Nisolovan, excuse my, please excuse my pronunciation, uh, Kleena Kelly, and Dr. Imelda Maha has not, has not only made me look how far I have come, but also given me transformative insight into what I too can achieve as a woman. I'm sure many of the women in this room can also relate to the challenges women have to overcome to get to where these remarkable women are today. Thank you all. You are truly transforming our minds. I would also like to highlight the spirit of, the, the spirit of pride and ownership of our knowledge incubator you have generously built, which has been pointed out by Mr. Paul Ward in a taught law lecture. I hope you will not mind me sharing this. On a few occasions, he has pointed out to disruptive students the value of the building, the purpose of lecture theatres, and the facilities the building has for those who prefer to socialise rather than learn. <laughs> In conclusion, the law school has helped me strengthen my networking skills and participate in social res responsibility initiatives. Skills that will prove beneficial in my future endeavours. My British teachers in high school had impressed on me that studying law in a prestigious institution abroad was something similar to Hogwarts in Harry Potter. Dark, dim, unapproachable lecturers and a dean who was somewhat of a mystical being. <laughs> Happily, my experience here has been positive, inspired and transforming. When I graduate in 2018, I will have achieved a full circle of learning, starting with my Jemison High School motto, Sinemetu, Latin for without fear, and my mind transformed through legal knowledge. Having been part of an inclusive community that welcomes people from diverse backgrounds and where dreams are fulfilled. I will also have the bragging rights of studying in a law school in Ireland with the facilities such as the Arthur Cox Education Legal Center, which is admired from, by students from other institutions. I believe that everyone who walks past the judgment statue is inspired, including a six-year-old girl in my mother's class in Zimbabwe, who saw a picture of me at the statue and now has set her sights to study law in UCD. As new students enter these doors, I hope they leave with a sense of community inspired to give back has been the case with me. Thank you once again for your generosity, continued support, and your belief in future lawyers. We only hope we are able to continue the legacy you've started, not only in Ireland, but also globally. Thank you.